Greetings sailors and welcome back to what is basically a follow-up to my previous DIY make your own custom flag video because uh, the file structure of the game has changed a little bit since then. When I made the previous video everything was basically packed into one big file but these days everything is in individual files which makes it a bit more fiddly to set up but once it's set up actually makes then things easier because previously when it was one big file you had to redo that file for every single patch version because most patch versions introduced a new flag now that they're all separate files that's no longer the case and you can just copy paste the individual flag file that you've made into the latest version of the res mods folder and it will just work. So uh, yeah, I'm gonna explain how to do that. I did kind of try and do it in a comment under the previous video, but I've had a couple of people under that video recently say, well, could you could you show us how to do this? Because uh, I, I just, I guess, didn't explain it quite well enough. So these are both flags that are not in the game. Uh, I, I should point out, because there was also a comment, that uh, everything that we're doing here is entirely client-side. There are other mods out there that are, that are part of mod packs or individual mods that do change flags. It's just this is the DIY version to uh, customise it to be how you want. So one thing that we will uh, immediately note is that the flags on screen are not the flag icons. And there probably is a way to change the flag icons to match what you have on screen. but um i don't know where these reside i've had a little poke around but it isn't really necessary in order to get the thing to work it would be nice if those would match what you're seeing here but basically you just have to know which one you're going to change now that's not always that easy to do because the uh the flag names don't always match up with the flag file names as we'll see in a moment but i'm going to go with one that i've got and that i know is going to be easy to find and that is this gamescom flag here gamescom 17 so i've selected that that is what that looks like at the moment and what we're going to do is we're going to overwrite that well well i say overwrite we're going to basically uh create a uh a customized version that we stick in the res mods folder and that will overwrite the original without actually changing any of the original files if that makes any sense because anything that goes into the mods folder as long as you have the right file path and the game recognizes what you're trying to do it will uh, then put it in the game but of course that means if you screw things up it can make things happen like your flags go invisible for example so uh, as previously you still need the exact same tool you need the wows unpack tool and this is a thing that you download from the uh, official forums i will stick a link into the uh the video description and as you can see you click load content uh, as long as it's in the the same uh your, your world of warships directory basically you just click load content and uh it will find what it needs to find so um what we want to do is we want to go to content and then we want to go to gameplay and then we want to go to common and then we want to go to flags previously like i said it was a single file flags dds but now there are a heck of a lot more and as i said it's not always easy to tell which are which some of them are named uh more um recognizably than others now as we have gone with the gamescom flag i mean you can just unpack all of them but if you know the specific one that you want you can uh make oh make sure that that is the one you want and uh oh, there we go and you did that at the bottom there so that's going to unpack that particular flag that's going to be nice and quick because that's just a single flag that it is unpacking from the data archive or at least it should be quick uh anytime you like a world of warships unpack tool anytime you like okay we're going to try this again i had to force close it it's a little bit janky i mean this is a tool that's been released officially by world of warships but it's like uh it's supposed to be something to help borders it's 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 a little bit jank so 
that's done. We can close that, and we now have a file in. It's this it's the same as last time. Res unpack, and you'll note the file structure here is basically the file structure that you'll want to use in the uh, the res mods folder when you've actually uh, fully completed your uh, uh, finished thing. Now. This is kind of like the remains of last time, and you can see actually the uh, the, the previous one. I mean, I, I just basically grabbed some flags off of, uh, uh, I think it was Wikimedia Commons, and they were already flag-shaped, so that was fine. I just had to resize them, but we're going to be a little bit more ambitious this time. I'm going to basically use a picture of Sam. Now, I am going to also use the same tool as last time because it is a free open source bit of image editing software. It's also not the most intuitive software to use, but for doing very basic stuff, it's absolutely fine. So we're going to use this beautiful picture of Sam, who is in fact dozing on my lap right now. Uh, but, you know, I, I don't need use of the WASD keys or anything fancy like that while I'm doing this. So, uh it's fine and uh, yeah we are going to um, open up the uh, where was it? it was the gamescom DDS now just in case we miss this up I mean we can unpack it again but it's by far quicker to just make a copy of it just in case we do do something wrong and in theory by the way you don't even have to unpack the file you can just use the uh, the unpacker tool to find the name of the file that you want to replace. But we're going to do it this way just to show the full methodology, as it were. So here we are. This is the flag uh, in the editor. And we can hold down control and scroll in and out. And that's fine. And basically any uh, changes that we make uh, if we go through the right steps, um, we'll propagate through to the game once it's placed in the right folder. So as we're doing things a little more ambitiously, uh, and I've done some experimentation with this, uh, what we're going to do is basically crop out the part that we want and then do further cropping until we have it being the, uh, the correct size, basically. Um, you may uh, have by default, by the way, it may be on fixed aspect ratio, in which case it will stick to being a square. And if you want to keep that on, but still do uh, uh, whatever aspect you want, you just hold down the shift key when you're drawing this, but you can also just uncheck that. So that's fine. So we're going to get a roughly rectangular slice of Sam's beautiful visage. Ooh. I'm much more used to using Photoshop, and you probably could easily do this in Photoshop, but uh, yeah, I, I know enough GIMP foo to actually uh, uh, do this how I want it. So we've done uh, we've done our crop. Um, I think oh, that's not what, what the grab tool. Now I think that just crops the canvas rather than cropping the image. In in Photoshop, that would crop the image. So um, what we want to do is basically shrink down the canvas to the correct sort of a size. So what we can do here is we can look at the canvas size from the image tool. There's probably a shortcut for this, but it's not actually listed. And that will tell us that we need a width, max width of 130 and a max height of 103, although the actual flag is slightly smaller than that. I don't know if that's to do with the very recent change that they made with the... Uh, there's something to do with the flag animations, how that works. I don't know if that little gap around there is to do with that. But the flags I showed you in port previously are from before that, and basically just I've been copy-pasting them uh, into the uh, the correct res mods folder every time there's been an update for the last several updates and it worked basically fine. I did have to resave them at one point to regenerate the MIP maps, but we'll come to MIP maps in a second. So 139 by 103. So we are going to want to 
Uh, now if I say fit canvas to, no, that's that's the opposite of what we want to do. So this is my inexperience with GIMP showing. There's probably some good way of doing this. Uh, crop to content. Uh, the image is already cropped to content. Okay. Uh, zealous crop. Is that what we want? Is that going to... Uh, no, that's just moving the thing around. Okay. But it, I'm sure there's going to be a comment underneath this saying, oh, did I, you just do this and this and that, like, um, sets the, the crop to be the same as the canvas size. Um, but like I said, this is my absolute inexperience with this showing. Is it flatten image, perhaps? There we go. That might have done what I wanted. Okay, so flatten image, uh, apparently that's the, the thing. So, okay. So we're going to uh, go to canvas size. And will this resize? Now this might resize the image or it might just resize the canvas and then we have a very zoomed in view of like Sam's nose or something. It might be image size we want. I know it would be image size in Photoshop. Uh, possibly it's scale image. Okay, there we go. Scale image. I think that's the one we want. So what was it? 103 by 139. So we'll, uh, and we want this to be linked. So we'll click that. Uh, oh. And that is, uh, not what I want. Um, okay. Does that not link the... Uh, okay, I don't quite understand what it's doing there. Uh, <laughs> okay, uh, linking that apparently wasn't quite how I thought it would go, so... Uh, oh, yeah, this is trying to type when there's a cat on your lap. Okay, so, uh, that's given me... So okay, so 103, that's the maximum height. Um, that's given me... Uh, slightly wider, but we can uh, crop that and then go and flatten the image again. So that's fine. So that's scaling Sam down to what is approximately the right size. And then we're going to want to uh, uh, crop this time, uh, or essentially use the canvas size to crop the image to set the canvas size that we want it to be. And this time it's not linked. So you can see there actually gives you a visual representation. Uh, 139 versus 103 and you can actually use this to drag exactly where you want that to be so that's fine and we will click resize and that should do what we want and then we can uh we'll try clicking there wasn't it flatten image once again so this now gives us basically the correct dimensions and so what we could even do uh, if we want it to fit within the the size of that uh, is we can um, sort of copy this in directly and that will create a temporary layer and we will say we want that to be a full layer and if we scroll down on this you can actually change the opacity and we can see that exactly matches in where we want that to be so uh, if we click the scale tool we can then this is not a particularly efficient way of, of, of doing things uh, in terms of um, like preserving image fidelity, but I wouldn't really use a, a fairly complicated flag like this anyway, to be honest. Um, this is not going to retain that much of the detail, the, the kind of scale that we're talking about. So we'll uh, basically put the opacity back up so uh, that's just a, a useful way of, of seeing that you've matched everything sort of underneath and we can actually click merge down so we're not going to have any funkiness with layers if i was in photoshop i would know the exact thing to use for like image sharpening or whatever but that's fine so uh a sort of maximum size this is what's going to look like it's going to be a little bit fuzzy but it's still recognizably sam's face so, because I copied into the file, and this is kind of the advantage of doing it this way, uh, as opposed to uh, uh, sort of naming it the, 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 the other way, like just having the, the file path 
that you want and naming the file uh, identically. Uh, we can actually just write over the, the file and because we made a copy of it, if we mess up, that's fine. So we'll want to export as and we'll go to show all uh, or show file type by extension and it's going to be DDS image and I don't know why it has two there, but that's fine. So we'll click export and we'll replace that. It's just basically saving over the existing flag. And the important bit here is that we click generate MIP maps. Now I mentioned MIP maps earlier and I'll actually have to quickly restart warships uh, and uh, I can sort of demonstrate a little bit clearer what I meant. So uh, in simple terms, MIP maps are basically the equivalent, uh, they're an optimization thing, they are the equivalent of uh, LOD models and if you played any kind of gaming at all you should be familiar with that term. Essentially they are lower resolution models, lower poly models of uh, things like say a ship so that the game engine has less work to do because if there's a ship way off the distance it doesn't need to be basically the full-blown thing that's going to add extra work to your graphics card in that case and essentially MIP maps are the same uh, but for uh, flat, uh, flat images like this so uh, if you are in this flag view or you're really zoomed in on your ship you're getting the full fat version but the further out you are you're basically getting a scaled down version and it's using that little bit less memory and uh, you might think okay it's only a flag but if uh, you know 30 ships in the game all have their individual flags and the game is sort of rendering the full sized version for all of them. It's that bit more memory that it needs to actually devote to that task. So like I said, it, it's an optimization tool. And if you don't remember to uh, have generate mitmaps selected, basically you will only see the flag when you are closest to the ship. And if you go zoom and zoom out the f of, of the uh, further enough away from the ship, it will in entirely disappear. So uh, yeah, it's uh, an important step. So we'll click export and that should have done the trick. So basically I will uh, discard changes. And if I go to flags and open up Gamescom 2017 DDS and click that, there we go. We have a flag of Samuel. So that is basically how you actually do that step of making the flag. So now we have that, we are going to take that, I'm gonna hit Control C, I'm gonna take that, we're gonna go up to World of Warships, we're gonna go in bin, we're gonna go with the current version of the, uh, the, the game data folder because uh, World of Warships actually keeps like the previous version, which is kind of handy for doing replays. It means I can, if I have a replay from the previous version, I can go in here and basically uh, go into one of these folders and, and run it on the previous EXE. But uh, it's always the, the kind of the latest one. Uh, you know, you can just look at date modified and see that uh, oh, that's the latest one, or that's the highest number. So we go in here, we go in res mods, and it's the same file path. Now I have a couple of other mods, so you can see there's some other files in here, but uh, for the actual DDS file, we go in here and in here and in here, and there we go, see the same file path, content, gameplay, common flags, and we will paste, uh, I, oh, Windows, where is the tool for paste? I don't know, let's just hit Control V and that should do the trick. Windows 11, I kind of wish I hadn't gone to Windows 11, but never mind, that's a different thing. So that's not going to immediately show up because the game client is still loaded. This stuff is all still loaded into memory. So we're going to close that. We're going to restart the game and hopefully that Gamecom flag, that Gamescom will show up as Sam. So there we have it. His face looks a little bit smushed because of the angle of the flag, but that is definitely Sam. And uh, you can basically, you know, you can uh, do what I did previously uh, and use existing flags. You can do images like that. You could, uh, I don't know, use different logos. You could do a 
anything you like, really. And um, basically, as I said at the start, uh, you know, bear in mind, only you are going to see this unless you happen to be recording your replays or streaming it or whatever. Uh, so, you know, if you... I mean, I, I, I probably shouldn't have to say this, but if you do something that's considered... If you have an image that's considered illegal in, in, in certain countries, for example, and you decide to stream with that on screen, you know, it's probably better be, to be safe than sorry, but that's just... It's kind of a niche thing. Most people aren't going to have to worry about that. So, yeah, that's still going to show up as the Gamescom flag there, obviously. But uh, if I put it on my ship, it is Sam's lovely, lovely face. So there we go. That is how you do that. And if you ever want to undo it, well, basically, you go back to your ResMods folder and you take that file out. And that's that. It will default back to the underlying base game data and use that flag. Now, as I intimated also at the start, um, it's basically now easier once you've done this. Um, you know, uh, you just go from, say, the previous version, you just copy paste, basically. So you would copy the content folder, presuming it was just the flags in here, which it for me it is. So you can see there, that's only the two flags. Uh, because that's the uh, res mods folder for the previous version. And you basically just paste it. And you can even say, um, have this content folder copied to your desktop if you want. And every time there's a patch, you just then copy that back into res mods. And hey presto, it's done. It's so much easier than having to go through the whole editing process every time there's a patch because that's kind of what you had to do previously. So that's it. Hopefully that was nice and clear. Hopefully that all made sense. And hopefully you will all now be rushing out to also put pictures of my wonderful cat on your ships because he's wonderful and lovely and fluffy and he's just the bestest cat in the whole world. And I definitely may be slightly um, be biased in saying that, but it's probably is true regardless yeah i'm just gonna go with that so if you have any questions about the process you can ask below but i really hope i've explained everything clearly enough and otherwise um yeah that's it i don't tend to do tutorial things but uh in this particular instance it's such an easy thing to do that even a dunce like me can figure out how to do it and i have the benefit of having a youtube channel and i can show other people how to do it as well so if you enjoyed this, you can do all the usual things down underneath the video. And of course, as always, stay tuned for more.